Hey everyone, Grant Liffman here, and I'm with college basketball expert Rob Doster, and let's talk about two international prospects. And let's first start with Killian Hayes. Now, some have him rising so far up the draft board, top three, even the first overall pick. What do you think about Killian Hayes? He looks like a guard out of France, 6'5 or so. Yeah, you know, he, he's a big lefty guard. He's got a pretty good wingspan. He is 6'5". I think I've seen his wingspan measured 6'8", 6'9". He's another one of these guys that's just you know, a terrific ball screen passer, a terrific player when he's out of those ball screen actions. He can make all the reads. He can make all the passes that you need. You can find a lot of clips of him hitting the weak side if a tagger is too far off. He throws those lobs to rollers. And in the NBA, with that, you know how prevalent uh, ball screen offense is, um, he is a guy that, that is going to intrigue a lot of people and draw a lot of interest that way. Now, the thing that, that makes me question whether or not he fits with Golden State is – you know, we saw a ball screen heavy point guard playing with that that roster and D'Angelo Russell uh, last season. And I, I just don't understand how that is going to fit when you have guys like Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and all the other, these other players on the roster. So Killian Hayes, to me, is a guy that you're drafting because of his potential down the road. And I think he does have a significant amount of it. Like I said, you're 6'5", you can play uh, ball screens the way that he does. Um, I, I do think he is a guy that could be a starting point guard and a good starting point guard in the NBA down the road. Now, that's a little bit of a ways away. I think he needs work on his athleticism. He needs work on his jump shot for sure. Uh, but he is a guy with potential. I just don't understand why you draft someone based on their potential to play a role that we know is not going to fit in that offense when you are a team with a, a short window to win if you're the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, and in terms of the comp, the D'Angelo Russell ones comes up too because the lefty point guard, it, it all makes sense in the end. But let's talk about Leandro Balmero. Now, not a lot of people uh, know much about him. He's a 19 year old, six foot seven, six foot eight, uh, and he played in Barcelona from Argentina originally. What are you hearing about him? I just don't understand why Golden State would be interested in a player like this. You know, he, he does have some potential, and uh, some of his film does pop. You know, you will be able to find some of the highlight plays that he makes, but he's six foot eight. He's skinny. He doesn't really shoot the ball all that well. And he wasn't really all that productive playing in the lower levels of uh, Spanish basketball. So it just doesn't make sense to me that this is someone that the Warriors would look at. You know, if you look at, I think he's a second round pick. I don't think you take, a, take him in the first round. And if you're taking someone in the second round, the Warriors have found a lot of success with guys that were three- and four-year college players that they know can step in and play a role immediately, whether it is someone like an Eric Pascal, you know, someone of that, of that nature. And I just don't see Leandro Balmero being that kind of a player. Yeah, they already have a project in Alan Smiley Geach that they're working on. I don't know if they're ready for a whole other project when they're trying to win now. Thank you so much, Rob.